Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today we will be speaking regarding last warpath which is left for us to speak. Uh, this is the Sandra Lizard which is in my opinion a very one-sided uh, warpath. Almost every uh, other warpath has a couple of playstyles, uh, at least two, but uh, regarding the Sandra Lizard it's pretty clear how you need to play with it and it's pretty clear what kind of playstyle you will be playing with the Sandra Lizard. Let's get as always regarding the attributes. Uh, I always say that try to get a legendary quality uh, warpit but I, th I, I know I understand it's pretty hard because as you can see um, I have only one legendary one. Regarding uh, the base attributes uh, for the Sandra Lizard, in my opinion, it's all about intelligence, it's all about spirit. You can, you can guess it easily that the Sandra Lizard is a mage uh, or pet, which means it will be good with the mages, but don't forget that anything which can be stay healthy in the game, uh, the warpath which is dealing damage, as long as the legion is up, you are dealing damage, right? Which means anything with a high amount of defense and high amount of survivability will be fine with the Thunder Lizard. But, in my opinion, best way for you to play with this warpath is to attach it with the mage heroes. Of course, there are many different choices for mage warpaths, but Thunder Lizard is a niche one, it has a like uh, by its own playstyle, which we will discuss uh, later in the video. As I said, intelligence and spirit is a main attribute for this uh, warpath. And regarding the third one, it can be luck, it can be endurance. Depends uh, which kind of attributes you will roll. But always the main priority is intelligence at first and then spirit. As you can see, they added the new uh, feature in the game. Uh, last uh, last patches, there were like just like plus and minus 1.35. You can click here, and now you know how much endurance, how much spirit, how much intelligence you got. This is a good, very good addition to the game, and I think they will upgrade the system overall regarding war pits in even in a better uh, way. Regarding spells. As I said, it's pretty one-sided, one way of play style, playing game. Uh, the Tempest is a very simple skill, uh, which is just dealing damage to a target legion. This is like not AOE, which means it's not dealing like damage to a couple of legions. It's only dealing to one legion. And it is determined by intelligence, which means the higher intelligence you have, the more damage you're going to do with the Tempest. Uh, as you already know, a lot of uh, talent skills has a three synergy skills, but the Sandra Lizard only have two, which is the Tempest, which is dealing the pure damage, and Forceful Tempest, which is just giving the additional damage, like 2.9%, which is determined by Spirit. So, as you can see, like intelligence and the spirit is the main attribute for this warpit. After that, uh, like there is a couple of choices, in my opinion, uh, to build this warpit. The magic spirit, like if we are, like if the main idea about this pet is that it's dealing the warpit skill damage, we're gonna boost the warpit skill, skill damage, right? That's, uh, in my opinion, that's the correct way of building this uh, pet, at least for now. So, magic spirits, uh, critical damage increase when Legion is dealing magic warped skill damage, and this is the warped skill damage type, magic. This can be good. Also, uh, magic pools, again, crit damage increase, like intelligence uh, uh, determined, and this one is spirit. Again, we need intelligence, we need spirit. Now, magic pools can be fine, can be good, because it gives us additional critical damage uh, determined by intelligence. Uh, after that, we're going to roll up and, like, for example, um, the great, great uh, warped uh, magic skill is Bolt from the Blue for the uh, Mage Legions. Legion magic attack, uh, which is determined by intelligence. Also great choice. 
to add to this warpath and critical damage when your legion dealing when your legion is dealing a magic warpath skill also uh, it's a synergy with our tempest so i i think you already understood the main idea uh, about this pet it's like single target damage dealer which you can boost the damage by increasing critical damage and critical damage chance and also it only has one, uh, two synergy talent skills that's the main idea of how i think thunder lizard can be played of course in the future updates i will be adding more and more skills in my opinion and uh, there will be more warpits and there will also will be more ways of playing every warpit in my opinion uh, regarding the heroes which you can use, uh, the Thunder Lizard, of course uh, there is like a main and obvious ways like Mage, uh, uh, Intelligence Determined and Spirit Determined Warpit will be also good for Waldir and Welin, but of course there are like better uh, choices regarding like Sapphire Drake. Uh, but if you can look correctly, the Tempest, the main skill, is dealing a lot of damage. And also, all the skills which you're gonna add to the Tempest, they are just increasing damage more and more. So, like, Waldir and Welin can be totally fine. Uh, also, uh, here, like, as you know, I don't uh, I don't spend in this game at all, that's why I don't have Lilia. And I'm sure it can be worked with Lilia too, uh, because she's a mage hero. Alwyn with Alwyn can be fine, like for example, if you don't have legendary heroes as much, you can run Waldir and Alwyn, you can run uh, Waldir and Velin, uh, you can run uh, Lilia with Waldir if you are spending in the game. Regarding Atheus, if you are playing with Celestials, well, it will be awkward for you to play with Atheus and with Sandra Lizard because Atheus is a flying hero and uh, you should already know that flying heroes can move through the terrains. And if flying hero has a land warpath, it can't fly around and be the noisy thing in the war situation. So you are like decreasing your main uh, attribute by flying if you are choosing Thunder Lizard. So that's why I would not advise you to uh, choose for the Atheist the Thunder Lizard. But you have many different choices, such as, I will repeat, Waldir Welin, Waldir uh, Alwyn, Lilia Walder, Lilia Welling, and so on. Uh, that's the main idea about the pet, which in my experience, in my opinion, I get from the game. Now, with this uh, warped guide, we finished all the warpets which currently in the game. Of course, we will wait for some more and we will continue this series. But by now, this is all the warpits we already discussed and every video is in the channel. So thanks for watching, thanks for likes guys and I hope you are enjoying the videos. Bye bye!